Hello, um, this is an announcement for parents, or rather me just chatting to parents or guardians or designated grown-ups. Anyway, those of you that are not little ones. So this video is not going to be reading a story. So if you've come for a story to be read to you, feel free to switch off because this is me um, chatting to um <laughs> older people um so i wanted to let you know that you probably saw that highway rat has has been taken off my playlist that's by julia donaldson and i think illustrated by axel scheffler and they're the people that do the gruffalo as well um they're very famous and very successful and they've sold so many copies of their books and uh, you know they've been turned into sort of um events uh, and I went to a forest nearby and there was a Gruffalo trail and there's like Gruffalo movies and um, they are a huge you know a huge entity in and of themselves that Axel Scheffler and Julia Donaldson um, partnership has done very 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 well and um, they're extremely successful and I assume that all of their work is translated into different languages and um, sold all over the world as well. So I received an email from YouTube saying that an organization called Web Capio, who I think um, must be appointed by the publisher's house or something like that, Web Capio had flagged to YouTube that my reading of Highway Rat was copyright infringement um, and therefore YouTube took it down and sent me an email notifying me of this and telling me that if I uh, get too many copyright infringement notices then my channel will be suspended. Um, so, <laughs> so since what I do is read books to children on this channel um, if one book being read is copyright infringement, it stands to reason that what I'm doing is copyright infringement. I never imagined um, that it was because the quality of my videos is not such that it could possibly pose a threat um, to any publishing houses or any authors or anybody uh, in the in the conglomerates that make money out of these children's books. I don't think for one moment um, that I'm stopping them from selling books uh, and so you know I didn't I didn't think that what I was doing was wrong basically because the whole point of this channel has been to share stories with children who don't get read to at home for whatever reason. And there are many reasons and it's not anybody's fault. You know, you could be the designated grown up um, and you just you just don't have the money to buy books and maybe you don't have a library nearby and you can't afford fuel for your car to go to the nearest library or maybe you're a single parent and you're holding down three jobs or maybe you're deployed or maybe you work shifts or maybe or maybe or maybe you know there are so many reasons why people aren't able to read to their children and I w would never stand in judgment of that so all I'm doing with this channel is reading the storybooks to, to my iPad um, and therefore to the children that watch in the same way as I read to my own child because I recognise that not every child gets read to and I also recognise that not every parent or guardian or designated grown-up has the time or the inclination or the financial ability or the ability full stop to read to their children and so all I'm doing is trying to create a safe space where these books can be shared by everybody and not just the privileged <laughs> the privileged children that get access to them. That's the first reason that I've started this channel but the second reason is um, I understand that there are a lot of children out there that struggle with communication um, and I myself struggle to understand what people are saying when they speak to me if I can't see their face. I need to see their mouth move sometimes, not always, but if I'm having a bad day um, and I'm really struggling to understand what people are saying to me, I need to see 
where one word ends and another word begins and to work that out so that the words spoken to me are not just this mass of sound I need to be able to see somebody's face and because I am that way I understand that children watching this are also that way so a lot of YouTube channels that read these children's books and also I presume get copyrighted um, they you have a you have a human being introducing the books and then on the screen you just have the book right you don't see the face anymore it's not a person to person interaction it's not human to human it's a voice off screen and then a, like a graphic of the pages turning and i understand that because it makes it easier for you to see the pages and you to see the words and you to read the words and so i do understand and that is great but the style of presentation that I have tried to achieve is aimed towards the people who, like me, struggle to understand what is going on. And so hopefully when I hold the book up, you can see the picture to an extent and you can see the words to an extent. But the key thing is that you can hear what is being read and you can see the mouth and you understand when one word is ending, another word is beginning. And hopefully, hopefully that helps to build communication and I make so many mistakes in every book that I read and I correct myself and I don't edit it out I explain that I've made a mistake and by doing that the the goal is to destigmatize um, errors right so that no one's aiming for perfection um, so that children watching this that are learning to read can understand that it's okay to make mistakes fully grown grown-ups make mistakes all the time and the only way to improve is not to beat yourself up over it it's to recognize and to change and to move on so so i mean that's another kind of element of what i'm doing as well as the random explanations that come up as i'm reading books um, and it sparks something in my head and i say something to the screen because that is exactly what i do to my little child at home and that is how the interaction happens and that is how um we learn we learn to communicate to one another and i'm not a teacher i'm not in education i don't do anything like that this is just me as a human being in the world using my experience and common sense um so yes i am reading books and yes somebody else wrote these books and somebody did the pictures and somebody published them and though it never occurred to me that the quality of video that I produce would be such that it would be a threat to them. Because if you're financially in the position to buy these books, then my video is introducing them to you and you can go and you can buy a copy and you can read it to your children yourself or your child can flick through the book while I'm reading it and they can see in real life what is happening on the screen and you can pause the screen and they can catch up and it's an interactive process. Um, so I'm not taking their income from them in that way. And if you can't afford to buy the books yourself, which I completely understand, it's why secondhand shops exist, it's why charity shops exist, it's why we have libraries, then you are never gonna be their customer anyway. So I haven't taken your custom from them because you are never gonna buy the book because you're not able to and that's that's just the way it is I mean that's that's no disrespect it just is the way it is so so I feel really bad to be honest with you that I got this copyright notice I took down a couple more Julia Donaldson books uh because I don't want to upset anyone and I don't want to get into trouble I do want to make the world a better place. I do want to read books to children and I do want to encourage literacy and inclusivity. And I just, especially those children who struggle to understand what is happening on screen when there's background noise um, and when there's music or distraction or graphics, I present a very pared down, very simple, very quiet way of reading. Um, which I have tried to do 
uh, because it seems to be the very opposite to what is available when I as a parent have looked on YouTube for various things I haven't really found anything really simple um, and really low tech and really basic and that is what my channel is it is simple it is low tech it is basic it is just literally me reading a book to you and trying to just share just share this amazing world of imagination and creativity um, and vacuum cleaners my first ever playlist was on vacuum cleaners because because if you love vacuum cleaners if you've got a child that loves vacuum cleaners there's not much out there there really isn't and so we need to share these resources because it matters it matters to the children so they don't feel isolated they don't feel alienated and they have a sense of belonging because they know that what they love is in existence it's represented on the screen and other people love it too and then they don't feel so isolated or alone so this is probably being quite rambly what i'm saying to you is um depending on what happens i might have to take the channel down uh because i don't want to get into trouble um i felt very threatened and uh and I just, I, I don't feel really very safe with this channel um, since that Web Capio um, complaint. I guess because it wasn't made directly to me, because it was made through YouTube, it felt very, it didn't feel very, um, it didn't feel very kind. It didn't feel like um, the ethical thing to do. So I was surprised, um, but I understand it. If you like what I do, please like this video. Um, please, if you don't subscribe to my channel, subscribe and please share. I don't know if anything will change. Um, I don't know if I'm stepping on people's toes or not. Um, if I have to take the channel down, then I'll just find some other way. I'll find some other way to make the world a better place because there has been too much suffering lately. There has been too much struggling lately. Um, everywhere you look, is just been awful and our children are suffering with anxiety and with loneliness um, and a lot of children little children are starting a school and um, they're not able to speak they're not able to talk they don't have the confidence they don't have the words to express themselves and we have a duty we everyone all the grown-ups um, have a duty to try and make things better and at the very least, not make things worse. Um, so, again, I'm rambling. I do, I do, I, I apologize. Listen, here's the take home. I had a complaint made against me, copyright notice. I had to take down some more videos just in case. Um, I really hope this channel can continue. I don't know if it can. Please like, please subscribe, please share um, if you like what I do and if you feel it would be wrong for it to be taken down. And if I guess you're a writer or an author, is that the same thing? Um, or a publisher or some someone uh, that deals with children's books and you support my channel, please send me an email. My email address is there in my um, explanation, in the channel explanation. Send me an email. Give me permission to use your work and to read your books. Um, and, you know, if you're new authors, feel free to let me know and I will read your books as long as as long as they don't contain any questionable material. Um, and and honestly, if you're a publishing house and you totally disapprove of what I'm doing and you're a children's author or you're a children's publisher or you know, you're know you somehow involved in, in this industry that sells things to kids and makes money out of selling things to kids, then you should probably let me know sooner rather than later so that I can just take the channel down because um, because I'm not going to win against you because I'm just one person in their car on their lunch hour reading books that a lot of the time I got from the library. So um, thank you. 
thank you if you support this channel um it's a shame if you don't um thank you for watching this oh my word i've been going on for 15 minutes i appreciate you i appreciate your time and whatever happens you please just take care of yourselves all right bye